I'm gonna keep it together because I'm a real nigga. <laughs> what you girl? I'm a real nigga. <laughs> I said Madison. <laughs> God has <laughs> God has blessed you so 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 much. Mm -hmm. He's given you so many things, so much like majority of everything that you've asked. Come for, on, somebody. He's given to you. That's right. Now it may not come in the exact form that I wanted. That's it, right. But it comes. But it comes. And so I, I went to my vision board. And I looked at all the things on my vision board, and and all the things that I mm -hmm. asked for on the vision board has a lot. 99.9% .9 of it has manifested, if not 100% of mm -hmm. it has manifested. Mm -hmm. And so in the middle of my vision board, I have my, a house there. And I bought a new house, but there was another house on there. And, and you know, I really wanted that house, but that house was $5 million. At the time, I, at the time, but my my a net worth mm -hmm. wouldn't allow me to, you know, mm -hmm. get that $5 million mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. So I got a $1.2 million house. Mm -hmm. So when I moved over here to this new house, I loved it. It's the house of my dreams. I'm, I, I've been, I'm still in the process of renovate, mm -hmm. renovating it <clears throat> and doing things to the house. And I'm still here over here back and forth. And I said, I made, I've, I've, I made my first million dollars in this house. Mm -hmm. I, left the adult entertainment business mm -hmm. in this house. I had a successful adult entertainment business mm -hmm. in this house. I created my first television show mm -hmm. in this There's a lot house. of memories here. I created my first on from, from the basement to television. Yeah. Television show. That's right. In this house. Yeah. I created so much stuff. I've, I've I bonded with so many people here in this house. Lost people in mm -hmm, this house. Mm -hmm. Everybody was on a journey in this house. Mm -hmm. And so I said to myself, "Well, I'm already one of one." Mm -hmm. And I say that with the utmost confidence mm -hmm. and the utmost of unchallenged. I am one of one. And something came to me when I thought about being the first black transgender woman to executive produce and star her own reality television show. Why? Why am why is there only one? Why am I only one? Why mm -hmm. am I only why have why have when you look around at all the the porn stars and the porn girls and why is there only one of us that has successfully strided through mm -hmm. or, or transitioned over mm -hmm. into doing something else? I said, well, Madison, obviously, there's only one because you have the formula. Mm. And the formula is was not something that you that's hidden. Mm -hmm. So why not have everything taught? Why not let this house, let this house that you had your start in, why not let this place be the starter house for mm -hmm. so many different black trans girls mm -hmm. that want to start new yeah. that want to have a that are, that is that's in the struggle but i was homeless mm -hmm. i didn't have any place to go mm -hmm. i didn't i didn't have any money i didn't like I, i'm a millionaire mm -hmm. Bitch. What, what, what are you girl i'm a millionaire what are you i'm a millionaire uh, I'm, I'm sorry I am a millionaire. Oh, okay. I'm just still frugal. frugal. Uh huh. So I live like I have. Because you got on one your little stretch. Oh, baby, five dollars. Five. Okay. <laughs> Twenty dollars. <laughs> yes. Mortgage ten band. I know that's right. On time. That's right. Mortgage over here. That's right. On time. That's right. Car payment three grand. On time. That's right. I'm not missing nothing. That's right. And I still don't go past row six <laughs> on Delta. <laughs> right. And I'm always tiptoeing in my heels. I know that's even right. though they may be 29, 39, 49, or 59, 99. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so I said, why not instill the, the formula? Mm -hmm. Why not instill the formula into people that need it? Right. That can also go out into the world and and it can be. 10 of y'all, 15 of y'all, because I'm not going to li live forever, mm -hmm. but I can live forever. My legacy can live forever. Right. My, my, my presence can live forever mm -hmm. through, this is how you, you keep the torch going. That's right. You keep, your, you keep yourself, a different torch. You, you keep yourself going by doing stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So 
I sat down with Dominique Morgan, who can we find out if she coming yet? She told me in three minutes. I sat down with Dominique Morgan, and as I sat down with her, you know, I talked to her. I told her about this, like right after I was thinking about. It. See, this was mm -hmm. see, faith without works are dead. Come on, I believed that I was going to go out and buy another house, so I was already preparing this one mm -hmm. to leave. Mm -hmm. And so, in my thought process, I was saying, I'm just going to bequeath. That was, uh -huh. that, that was the word we used at, uh -huh. at the conference. Uh -huh. yes, bequeath. I was going to bequeath this house mm -hmm. to charity. To the community, yeah. I was going to do that. Yeah. This was my beginning. Let this be the beginning for, for others. And so when we did that, um, we sat down, and when, we, when you go over to my other house, we, we we did a board down there at the bottom in the in the uh, in the third level of the house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> we, we we wrote out things, we wrote out programs, all this stuff, you know. And Dominique is a, is a girl that's really deep, heavily in the community. Yeah, and she went forth, and then, mm -hmm. uh, bitch, we came up with the TS Mass Start House to show the logo. So we did the logo. She, I taught her. We came up with the logo. Boom, it was the TS Madison Starter House. And I was like, wow. Okay, so this is mm -hmm. this is really going to go on. Yeah. This is about this is really about to happen because shit. But let me say this too. I have two things, two things I want to say. <clears throat> so, going back to what you said a moment ago when you said, you know, with all of the trans women that came before you, why are you the one that's doing this? And the answer is simple. It's because God knew that you would carry the vision through. Yeah. He could have chosen any trans person, but he chose you because he knew that you would see it through. To the end. To the end. And that's even if I had to, when I think about it, it's even if I had to go through scandal, mm -hmm. if I had to go through betrayal, if I had to go through losses, mm -hmm. if there were people that were going to leave my circle. Mm -hmm. He knew I would see it through. Absolutely. And so even before you had the vision, he had the vision. Or them or they. Correct. And the other part of it is too, and I've said this to you, you know, months ago when we first started talking about this. This truly does solidify you as a bona fide star. <laughs> You're so crazy, Craig. You know, seriously, because, you know, like I said to you then, like whenever it was that we first talked about it, this really solidifies you because you now have attached yourself to a real cause. Well, because it's, it was it was true to me, right? And and, and the thing about it is, somebody I, I I always say I wish someone would have done it for me, but Miss Eve did it for me. Mm -hmm. She was doing it for me, and now you can do it for I the can community. do it for for the community. Yeah, like she took me in when I was homeless. Mm -hmm. She sat me down she taught me how to read css and, and html and codes mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and 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 word wordpress and mm -hmm. like she taught me how to do that mm -hmm. stuff and i remember i remember sitting on the floor when she first created when she made the website bigbigbitch.com mm -hmm. i remember sitting on the floor and uh she had she had created the site and, and I had did all the video content mm -hmm. and, and she put it up and then I wanted to update my website. Like I wanted to update it. Mm -hmm. And I never forget this, God. I would never forget it. Girl, your eyes are watering. I mean slightly because that's uh -huh. that's my girl is gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but she's still here. She's the most and she's a here. part of this too. Yes. You know what I mean? And I will tell you this when the when the girls walk into the starter house, uh -huh. they will see a huge photograph of me and her. Uh -huh. When they come into the starter house uh -huh. to, to start the program or to to, to get themselves on a, on a, on whatever journey they whatever yeah there. whatever trajectory they they're choosing. And so I remember her sitting me on the floor and she said. Myrtle, I'm not going to be updating that motherfucking website every week. I got my own website. I got mm -hmm. update, so I'm not going to be updating that, 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 that shit every week. If you want to motherfucking put a new video on your site, learn how to do it. That's right. And that bitch sat me down in front of the computer, and she opened up. She she right clicked and opened up all those words and the, 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 the damn mm -hmm. HTML. And I didn't know how to do none of that shit mm -hmm. except for for MySpace. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know how to do none of that shit. And I was like, oh god. Mm -mm. 
So I went there and I was so mad at her. I was so mad because it was this new video I wanted to put up. Mm -hmm. See, you only fans, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all girls don't know nothing about this. Uh -huh. I was so mad at her because I could not put the new video up. Bitch, I sat there all night and I called one of my friends, Juicy, actually, Miss Juicy mm -hmm. in Florida. I called Miss Juicy. I said, Juicy girl, I don't know how to do this. She said, Nails, girl, bitch, read that first, read those lines right there and you see what those, uh, those, whatever them shit's called. I know what it is when I see it. Uh -huh. You see those little things in the indents right there and you see where it, where it says image and you see where it says video player uh -huh. and you see where it says video number seven. Mm -hmm. She says drop that in your in your folder over there mm -hmm. in the FTMP and nah, 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 nah. I was like, I'm sitting here trying to absorb it. Yeah. Bitch, I did it. And when I did it and I and I, and I re-uploaded the page, the site was shifted this way. Uh huh. But a new video was up. Uh huh. <laughs> Bitch, the, the the site was out of alignment uh -huh. because of one little yeah, yeah. piece that I didn't put. But the video, bitch, and I had a new video up. Right. And and my subscription was flying in, was flying in, flying mm -hmm. in, was flying mm -hmm. in. I felt so good about myself. And bitch, I was seeing it, seeing that shit from CCB saying new subscription, new subscription, new subscription, new subscription, new subscription. Mm -hmm. And she came in there in that room and she said, Bitch, I knew you was gonna learn. That's what Miss Eve said. Because she wanted to do it. Yeah. But she knew if she did it. She would always, always have to do it. Always do it. You know. That bitch said, I knew you was going to learn it. I mm -hmm. knew it. Mm -hmm. And she came and she showed me the little spot I missed and realigned that shit. And I never had to depend on her mm -hmm. to do the things for me again. Yeah. Yeah. And bitch, I became infamous, bitch. Uh-huh. Because uh -huh. even to this, to this day. <laughs> <laughs> to what girl? To this motherfucking day, <laughs> them bitches won't let me live down being the big dick bitch. Right. Because right. I went in that bitch, I went in there like a motherfucking force because I said that I was never yeah. going to be broke. I was never going to be homeless. I was never going to ask anybody for a motherfucking thing again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I moved forward. I bought my first Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Then I bought my first motherfucking, I bought my first the old picture and all that shit. And then I bought my first house mm -hmm. bitch <laughs> so understand that this house meant so so very much to me it meant so much to my name it meant so much because i could have easily got up and sold this bitch mm -hmm. and took all the bitch I've, had, I've been in this house 17 October 17th bitch excuse me October 19th 2017 will be mother 17 2007 years. will be 17 years mm -hmm. almost 18 years I've been in this house I, I do you know how much equity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could have easily sold it and went about my business but I decided to mm -hmm. give that, mm -hmm. to give that back mm -hmm. because that's what I was, that's what I was assigned to do. Mm -hmm. And so God put people in position for me to do that. And uh, I want to bring Dominique up, honey, because I know she's, she's pressed for time. So Dominique, let's come up here and say, hey, y'all. Good evening, everyone. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the, um, the T.S. Madison starter house. Yeah. Just a bit. So, so the house, again, um, as you mentioned, the, the dream. Be, what, 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 what was the word we just said at the, at the conference? I bequeath. You bequeath the house. Um, because I feel like it's important to name that because everyone thinks that the only way to give is by writing a check. That's right. Which is lovely. But the truth of the matter is most people who are making donations, the average person, even with a great amount of wealth, we're talking $10,000, $20,000. Um, the Mackenzie Scotts um, are very rare. Madison literally gave us, bequeathed to us, um, likely, you know, multiple millions of dollars um, in what this house will be from a capitalist space. But in regards to what the house will be for the people that we serve, I don't think we can quantify the, the, the amount of impact 
that Madison has given to us by allowing us to launch this project in partnership with her and in this beautiful home. Yes. So, Mo, can we put the pieces of the slide up? Uh, we created the, um, the, no, go back up. We created, well, you created the logo there at the T.S. Madison mm -hmm. Starter House. Yes. And yes. I, I gagged when you first showed it to me. And then when I got to St. Louis the day before yesterday, I gagged that there was a whole, mm -hmm. a whole conference, a whole thing, a whole room a space dedicated for me to even just make the announcement. I gag. Mm -hmm. This was all, so go down to this blue thing right here. This was all over the table. Like this right here, this whole T.S. Madison Starter House, house Empowering New Beginnings initiative was on the table. Mm -hmm. And I gag. Sister, well, the thing was is, and, and I know y'all have shared about this and Madison, we really got into deep talks Christmas Eve at your house um, is when you were like, sister, this is where I want to go, but how do we get there? We got to make sure that things move. And I remember I looked at you and I was like, if you hand it to me, I will work it out. And so I sent you two examples of the, of the logo because I was like, uh, these feel like, I felt like the one you chose was going to be the one you wanted, but I was like, let me send a couple of options. Um, and in St. Louis, I wanted to create the pomp and circumstance that you deserved for the moment um that needed a red carpet roll out for what this would be and i think what we've seen with social media is that like i, I went to the post from yesterday and, and madison i know you're used to like all but it was like it's like ten thousand likes on that post that isn't controversial that isn't about anybody it's about this powerful moment and all of the emails and things and so this uh the last six months has been about getting us to friday and now it's about getting us to october to open the house, to get us prepared for the young ladies to join us. And today is June 2nd. Today mm -hmm. is Miss Eve's birthday. Oh, wow. You are. Today is her birthday. Wow. Madison. Yep. So when the girls walk in the, in, in the house, they will see the mother of the mother bitch in a grand, in a grand mm -hmm. portrait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today is June second. It is her birthday. Oh my god! Yeah, ain't that something? It's, it's the the word for this project is alignment. I feel like that is the best word to describe this project: the alignment of you and and who you are to our community, the alignment of the partners that were able to come together and push this forward, the alignment where our community really needs this more than we can possibly explain. But when I think about today being her birthday, when I think about the story you all, you told on Friday that I had never heard before, this is the, paying it forward is, is not a sufficient label for what's happening with this house. And you all, the programming is top tier. We built programming from leaders across the country. We are putting all sorts of power behind this. And Madison, there are a lot of people who could have said yes that haven't. And Madison said yes. And not only did she say yes, she is giving us the access to her brilliance, the access to her journey, to her story, to make sure that these young ladies are very clear about the expectations of them. The level of success we want to see is not going to be any, we're never going to compromise on success for these young ladies that come into this house. So I'm really excited for us to launch in October. Yeah, I'm very excited too. Um, yeah. It's crazy today, her birthday, you know? Um, so I know all of this, you know, she always going to be involved in some stuff, honey. You know, it's all all, all the yeah. time. All um, the so I want to talk about the initiative. Let's talk about it a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Mo, can you put the blue thing back up just for a second? Uh, we're going to talk about the initiative here. Can you break that down? Because I know that you see that little QR code down there at the bottom of the thing. The QR code will take you directly if you guys want to donate, if you guys want to. Because I listen, I gave them this house. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I still pay the mortgage and I'm not making a dime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the people don't understand. Mm -hmm. It ain't like I'm over here. It's not, oh, I'm making a million dollars. I'm right. not making a penny. Mm -hmm. Not a quarter. 
And it's okay. Well, and most, well, and most importantly, the reason a QR code is there for the person who's like, well, why isn't this happening? And why do you want people? Because what we've noticed and what we've seen with this work across the country yeah. is that the more people who are involved in making it happen, the more people who are invested in its in it living and it growing. So we know that this work, none of Take us it. can hold this work 24 seven. And so whether you have a dollar, whether you have $10, whether you have $10,000, we want people at the table to make this happen. The importance of this, the importance of the work that Madison is talking about in the city of it, in the state of Georgia, LGBTQ plus people make up almost half a million of the individuals here. In the data that I shared on Friday, if all of us are making an medium income of three of thirty thousand dollars a year, we are bringing in seven hundred and fifty million dollars of tax money to the state of Georgia every year. Yet these services that we know desperately are needed for our people don't exist. Right. This is the black, gay, trans Becca. And if somebody is homeless today, we don't have anything to support them. So the point of the project is one, to start to fill the gap that has been left open. Two, to create a process that brings affirming housing with a plan. Madison said from the jump, ain't gonna be a whole bunch of boys running up and through there. Well, ain't ain't gonna gonna be, be I ain't no said a whole bunch. I said ain't gonna be no niggas in here. Ain't gonna be none, ain't gonna be none, right? Um, what you say, Dick? Dick will leave you down the wrong direction. I think it's Dick will motherfucking tear your direction up. So Dick won't be in here fucking these girls, man. If you gotta get some dick, bitch, do that on your day off. Indeed, and most importantly, creating an incubator for them to become entrepreneurs in whatever way they want to. The beautiful part about Madison's story is whether it's music, whether it's hosting, whether it's books, whether it's um, you know a a, t a TV show. She has her hands in these things and they've been a part of creating her success. And we want that same access for these young women. The partnering with NASM is important because NASM Atlanta has therapy services, psychiatrists on hand, STI testing. Listen, whether you are in sex work or not, the girls are out here rumbling and, 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 and getting into the things. Let's make sure that we know how our bodies are doing and we are taking care of our bodies. And last but not least, the wraparound services will be robust. So you're not just going to be in the house hanging out. You're going to have access to, we have 10 coaches from across the country who are going to work with these girls for the first 12 months of them being in the house. Madison will decide if any of them needed an extension, if she wants that to happen. And it's going to be one of the most powerful programs that we've ever seen in this country. It will be a program that people will want to replicate because what we are doing, no one else is doing. Uh, they, someone asked, um, will there be, uh, is this like a boot camp or will the girls actually be living here? They will be living here. They will be living there, but Madison, it will be, I won't say a boot, a boot camp, but it will be the school for the, for the, for the trans and gifted um, with our own, our own Professor Xavier, really looking at the talent and power of these young women and ensuring that they are utilizing their skills to get ahead, not using their skills just to survive. Mm. Okay. You can you see any que in any question the questions and stuff down there, Dominique? Do you see any of it? I am listen. Uh happy birthday. Oh, How is this movie? Uh I'm I'm on my computer, so let me see. I'm trying to I see a lot of things. If y'all have a question, I think another person asked about how do you someone said how do you apply? Yeah, how do, how you, do you apply, apply to join? How do you apply to join? Our goal is to is to engage with folks who are already engaging with NASA Atlanta. So if you are in the Atlanta area, what you need to be doing on Wednesday, because I believe with the conference, they're going to take Monday and Tuesday off. If you're in Atlanta, I need you to go to NASM and I need you to sign up for services. Get in their caseload because that allows us to know that you have already done the work to connect with services and we can bring in this additional component that can be a catalyst to shift you. Is it just for homeless in Atlanta? Right now, the, uh, when we think of the population in the house, it will be three girls in there and we will be focusing with people who are currently in the Atlanta area. The house opens in October. I suggest um, you all engage where you can, but also if you wanna reach out to me and you are not in Atlanta, 
I do have a network of grantees that are doing housing and services across the country. If you're somewhere that you need these services, but you're not in Atlanta. Would the house be open to all LGBTQ plus lesbian, uh, to, to a LGBTQ plus lesbian woman? We are focusing on the identity of being, uh, identities of being black and trans and identifying- At the moment, woman. at the moment. At, 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 at the moment. And I wanna say that, so outside of, you being a heterosexual black trans woman, a bisexual, that is neither here nor there. But at this time, trans, black, and identifying as a woman will be important for this first cycle, but we are making a blueprint that we will be duplicating. Is there a particular age that is allowed? It, it, the person needs to be 19 and up, because in most situations, we wanna be able to navigate you and not need any parental consent or any barriers with any state-based agencies. And in all states, um, 19 and up is uh, category, you will be classified as an adult. So that is the age range. Um, what qualifies the girls? Um, what, at, again, at the base level, we're looking at identity. It's important. Identity in this space is not about excluding anyone. It's about saying that this work is happening because of a black trans woman. And we wanna make sure that we are investing that work and dollars back in that community. Two, you need to be engaged with NASM Atlanta. So make sure that you are reaching out, that you are getting access to care. And last but not least, you need to be prepared to demonstrate your desire to be involved in this process and lean in and not fight us. We are going to fight for you. You should not be fighting us. Dominique, let me say this real quick because I think some people are getting lost in the acronym NASM. It's National AIDS Education Services for Minorities. So if you need to look that up, it's N-A-E-S-M, National AIDS Education Services for Minorities. Yes. Um, I, 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 I have a, a friend of mine who's trying to donate more than $500 when they click on the link, Dominique, and it's only allowing them to donate $500. It won't let them donate any more than that. How does what how do how do we talk to NASM about that? Because I will I will I will send a message as soon as like we get off of here to the NASM team and make sure that we update that and we make sure that that's not an issue. I think another thing about certain amounts, it will trigger different levels of um uh tax reporting for different folks. Um but we'll make sure that we have uh we have various levels of donations because Madison as you know we had a representative from Gilead donate ten thousand dollars on the spot on Friday. Um, so we will we will fix that and make it happen for sure. Yeah. And again, I'm going to stress to these because I don't want people to think that I'm pocketing any of it. Like I, there, none of this is going to me. So I don't um I don't know how you guys are. You know, the way that you will see that. So the importance of this, um, there's a question. I'm going to answer this question that's there, but I want to say this. The importance of, of Madison partnering with an established nonprofit. NASM has been in existence over 30 years. They are 501c3. If you go to NASM and you look up NASM tax records, they have a clean bill of health. So that means that all of these dollars that come in at the top of 2025, on their taxes, you'll be able to see what came in. There is reporting, there is a board, there is a budget, there are processes. Madison is not touching a dollar. A dollar is not coming through me. It is going through the nonprofit and these systems that are in place. Because one, we wanna respect what people are giving us and how they're making that happen. But two, we know the girls can be shady. And so you don't have to ask anybody because these documents exist because NASM has brought in millions of dollars each year. For over 30 years now. Um, are they given a certain amount of time to spend in the house? M uh, Madison has asked that at minimum it be 12 months. And then depending on their progress with their, with their success plans and their business plans, Madison wants to be able to offer them a six month extension, but she wants to be able to look at that progress um, and that relationship for Madison to make that ultimate decision. Yeah, because you're not decision. laying up. Listen, when, when I, I, I live with Miss Eve for about a year, year and a half and she came in that room honey uh, everything that's going on in this house is a replication of what went on in my life mm -hmm. that woman came in that room honey and she was like um <laughs> you ain't what we doing <laughs> what you doing what today? you doing because um baby th th this house is available over here i'm gonna take you over here get in his house and she was in and, and, and she, this was so funny and i was like but my mama them said i need at least about six to seven months worth of rent and she said bitch you're a whore 
<laughs> You're a what? You're a whore. <laughs> you don't need no six to eight months to get no money. That man won't first and last. Carry your first ass over there and pay him <laughs> your first and the last. Right. So you can move in your house and you can start living over there in your house. You can start making your shit work over there in your house. And that's when I moved into my own townhouse. Mm -hmm. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so after that, you know, it was, so it was like a year, right. year and a half. I didn't live with her no long period of time because when you start living with a bitch, you up there with you your get legs, comfortable. You comfortable. And she was not requiring that I pay any rent. So whatever money was coming to me, Mm -hmm. I should have been stashing and saving that. That's right. That woman took me over there to. She made sure that that I, that none of my things, every everything that that lady taught me, bitch, I'm finna teach the world. Right. That lady told me don't have no mail coming here. Mm -hmm. Go over here and get you a motherfucking PO box, uh, and the PO box need to be in your business. Now, what is your business name? Right. So we, when she made me establish a business name, and I put that shit in the PO box, that's where my mail was going. Mm -hmm. Cause bitch, ain't no mail coming here. The only mail coming here is under the name that the house owns, bitch. That's mine. Mm -hmm. And bitch, cause when you start getting mail in this motherfucker, I got to evict you, and I'm not evicting the motherfucking body. That's right. So it won't be no, there will be no mail coming here. We're gonna establish these girls somewhere so they can establish their own house. We about to get these girls on their feet, bitch. At their twenty something years old, I bought this house at, at the age of twenty six, mm -hmm. bitch. Or 29, one of them. Right. One of them 20s. Bitch, I won 30 in and I bought this motherfucker. Right. And at the time when I bought this bitch, it was it was five hundred thousand mm dollars. -hmm. In my 20s. Black and trans. And a whore. And a whore. Step your pussy up. <laughs> Do what? Do what? Step your pussy up. <laughs> Even if you don't have one. You step step it, up. it up. That's right. Your spiritual pussy, amen. Your That's right. Pussy. That's right. My Even God, if you have to get one on quarter, step it up. <laughs> or wait, on quarter. Or a firm. Yeah. Or after pay. They put no mail or mail will be coming. That's no, right. No ma'am. Common M's. No ma'am. There, <laughs> there will be no prostitution in this house, and that will be strictly enforced. Okay. Strictly enforced in this bitch. I know that's right. Because that's and not that's what you're here for. Well, and that's why it's important <laughs> for people to be really excited for the opportunity. We're not going to be engaging with people that we have to convince to come into the space because right. when you convince somebody, somebody else can come behind you and convince them to do something else. Mm -hmm. You have to want this because we will right. be around. But in the middle of the night, when it's 3, 4 a.m. and you got to have the power to get up and, and, and go to work and catch a bus and do this, right. that's only you that can make that happen. Initiative. And for people, Initiative. It's, it's super important. And the, the other piece of this is someone asked about who will be engaged. There will be educators. There will be support systems. Um, 15 years ago, I was walking out of prison after 10 years. And I've been able to do the work through being able to access my education, being able to build my brand, and being able to dig into work I'm passionate about to build a foundation for me. So you're gonna have multiple black trans women. Our journeys are not exactly the same, but all of us came from where people thought they left us to where we decided we wanted to be. I'm gonna say mm -hmm. that again. All of us came from where people thought they left us to where we have now decided to be. Every black trans woman that is going to engage, if you want to be a mentor, please reach out to NASM Atlanta, N-A-E-S-M, because they are the perfect nexus to get your engagement started because they already have programming going and we will just connect the, the, the incubator of the, of the starter house to them to make sure that we are bringing in young ladies who are super excited. Will there be 24 hour monitor of the home and girls, Madison, Said the cameras will be cameraing. Oh, listen, and, and I, oh, no, no, and the cameras will be cameraing. And but I will, I, I, I plan on even if it has to come out of my pocket, somebody will be living in this bitch that's going to enforce what I mean because mm -hmm. this is still my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I may have bequeathed it to be done. Even have what bequeathed it <laughs> to charity, but bitch, this is still my house. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I will throw you motherfuckers out of this bitch <laughs> if you think that you're going to be treating this bitch like this some damn hotel down there at the Red Ruby. <coughs> brothel. Bitch, <laughs> a brothel. And just for clarity, that guys, everybody that's watching, <laughs> it's naesminc.org. Mm -hmm. That's their website. naesminc.org. If you go to Madison's Instagram, she's tagged them in posts. Um, and if you look at the Starter House actual flyer, there's an email, there's a phone number. 
for you to reach out to Nasum directly as well. Um, and if all costs, you can reach out to me and I can make sure to get you connected to the incredible team. Shout out to Nasum, to Dr. Uh, Alvin uh, Kwamina, to Dr. Uh, uh, Woodson, to Marissa Miller, and the entire team for one, keeping this a secret so we can do the rollout, two, giving us the space at the conference to announce this, and last but not least, for being the foundation for how we serve first. Can we sponsor an applicant? At this time, sponsor an applicant means donating the dollars that get us to the point to have that ribbon cutting in October, to have the house the way we know we want it to be. Um, again, for people who are gonna ask, the beautiful thing about being in a nonprofit space is, the reports are going to be public, you'll know what we fundraise, you'll know our progress, this week, the press release will go out. We will be sharing an updated budget for the project. Everything will be based in transparency, including the 10 leaders um, from the Flower Crown Project at Borealis Philanthropy, who will be co-working on this as a, as a practicum project. So girls all across the country from San Francisco to Baltimore will be helping make this happen. I'm getting questions. Um, a question came in that stated, uh, will there be investing knowledge? Like somebody wants to invest. Yes, there will be. And so the beauty of the 10 Flower Crown Project members is that each of them run a national nonprofit across the country that looks at different issues. So the organization that would address that is the Transgender District in San Francisco, read by, uh, led by Brianna McCree. They are helping people buy property, they are creating the only trans woman in the country who runs a laser service came out of her out of their program. And then you also can think of Aya Damons from Maryland Safe Haven, who has bought a multitude of properties and they're doing investment work with young trans folks in the Maryland. Yeah, that's area. what that's what that's what Legra and I well, while we were there at the conference, that's what Legra and I are planning on doing. Like once this becomes the success that it is, mm -hmm. and we're planning on um buying some more properties and doing it, you know. So that's why I said for now it's it's for tr trans led for now, but you know, I do have a vision for the, for the entirety of the Labiquita community. <laughs> right. You Absolutely. Know. And the whole point of starting with this, as I said before, one is to give honor to the fact that Madison has been a catalyst to make this happen, but two from a public health space y'all and people need to recognize this when the most oppressed is doing well, everyone else will benefit from that. If, if black trans women are healthy and stabilized, black gay men, black lesbians, black trans masculine folks will all benefit, right? Read, read um, that. In regards to the, in regards to the uh, trans mass community, uh, you can reach out to Destination Tomorrow. They announced a trans masculine housing program in Atlanta six months ago. They just opened a program in Washington DC two weeks ago and they have housing and they have supports in New York. That being said, we're not divesting from that. And one of my brothers asked this in the session in St. Louis, the beautiful part about us having evaluation from my team with Borealis and the Fund for Transgenerations with Ubuntu is that there'll be a blueprint in a year to where this won't be, well, how do we make this happen? You'll know the budget, you'll know the, the space, you'll have access to the programming because Madison wants to replicate this, but we also wanna make sure that other folks can replicate this. My trans brothers, we are not ever going to leave you all behind, but what I need y'all to know that in spite of what you see with 10 or 15 of us that are thriving on social media, most trans girls are still figuring out how they are going to hold a job and where they're going to sleep tonight. So once we get this figured out, I promise you, we have no intention of leaving anyone behind. All right, so Dominique, uh, there was, um, uh, uh, Larry Reed was in the comment section and, and he said to me, he said, which look, uh, uh, another set of people were saying the same thing that he was saying. Um, why are, am I not documenting this? Can you tell the people what I told you from the, from the beginning? Yeah, from the very, from the very beginning, Madison didn't even want people to know that she was like, give it like investing this and being a part of it. She wanted the goodness to happen because you all who follow Madison for whatever reason, whether you love her, whether you just like the watching golf, Madison can do the most amazing things and people will try to twist it. And in this instance, twisting it just doesn't affect Madison. It affects the young ladies we want to serve. It affects these organizations that we have partnered with. But what I said to Madison was this, people need to bear witness to what happens when we become our own liberators. 
Mm. If somebody could have filmed Harriet taking the folks and then going back and get the folks and taking the folks, it would really have given us a blueprint of liberation to where we wouldn't be trying to figure out in 2024 how we get free. So the importance, in my opinion, of us documenting how we make this happen, of acknowledging that Madison has been a catalyst to make this happen, of the 10 Black trans women across the country who have supported this, NASM, Borealis Philanthropy, is, is going to be one, to make sure that no one forgets how we made this happen, but two, for people to bear witness and know that we can get free and we don't need anybody's permission to do it. I'm never going to ask my oppressor permission to get what I need to be okay. And Madison saying yes, means we don't have to ask anybody for permission anymore. Yeah. And so I I strayed away from, and when I talked to some of my TV producer friends, I was like, it was like, Madison, why are you not doing this? Why? I was like, nah, because I just, I really wanted it to be, I really, at first, I really wanted this to be private. Mm -hmm. Remember, Craig, I was mm -hmm. talking, I, was, I really mm -hmm. wanted this to be private. I really didn't want nobody to really know that this is what I was doing because you know, motherfuckers be, I just, I just want to stay away from it. And then when I did speak to one other person that was talking to me, that I talked one of my friends and they were saying, well, well, what, well, well, what is the storyline going to be? I said, this is, this is not storyline. These are, these are people's lives. And, and I, I don't want this to be sensationalized where girls think they're going to come in here and be busting bottles in, in this fucking house. And oh, they feel like they have to do this for, you know, like, I don't want, that's not what I want. I don't somebody I don't, said I don't want to lose this comment. Somebody said, Well, Harriet needed secrecy. Do you know who Harriet needed secrecy from the most? Black Niggas. <laughs> Harriet needed secrecy the most because you she had to keep it from niggas who did not understand how she wanted to be free, how she wanted to get her people free. And because they could not see themselves in it, they wanted to disrupt it. At the same time, I am not going to allow people who don't, people who have never seen a, a dream come together, I'm not going to keep them from letting me dream. And so the importance of this project, and someone else said this, I have a proven track record. I'm not T.S. Madison, but you can Google Dominique Morgan. I have told story from the most oppressed people from a space of their power. It's never going to be exploitative. It's never going to be dismissed. It's, it's never going to diminish them. And when I say the blueprint, how do we get the house ready for the girls? How are we building the programming? And at the same time, acknowledging that these women are choosing themselves. There is something powerful about that. I want to see Black trans women on TV that are showing the greatness in all that we are. Yes, we show up in different ways. But as of right now, outside of Madison's show, I've seen Black trans women one way on TV. And I know that we are the spectrum. So for people who are concerned or feel like, you know, this is, you know, it needs to be a secret. We only, you only hide things you're not proud of. You only hide things that you don't think can stand up to the light of day. And what I love about this project is we've done the work and I have spent many countless nights building this project in a way that I want everybody to lay eyes on it. I want all of the sun to lay on it because this is going to be the type of work, as Craig said, Madison has been so many things, but now she's a philanthropist. Mm -hmm. And I also know that Madison is going to start, Madison will be showing people how to give back in ways they haven't before, just because, what'd you say? My presence is my advocacy. That's right. My presence is That's my advocacy. Honey. My presence is my advocacy. My, my survival is my advocacy. My visibility is my advocacy. Bitch, just because, just because I'm here, Bitch, I'm advocating for trans. Just because I'm visible, just every every space I walk in and occupy that they say, bitch, that we can't get in, that is my advocacy. Absolutely. All right. All right. So, you guys, Dominique, tell them one thing. I want to thank you because we about to get into some fag talk now, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, get into the things. Uh, Please put, put go thing to one more time. Run through it. Go from the from the from the things mo. Get from that. This is the T. S. Madison Starter House. To the Starter House. Mm -hmm. Um, Y'all know it's fall of this year, so please look for updates, and this is going to be so, so, so exciting. And you can go to Matt, Madison's Instagram right now, has this piece up. You also can go to nasum.org. They have a landing page for the housing project, um, and you can go to Nasum and ask these questions. Their, their inbox is set up to automatically give you this okay. information. Okay. Last but not least, you can email tsmadisonstarterhouse at nasum.org. 
to get any additional information. Um, and we're in it. We're so excited. The press releases hit today, um, the first one, and Madison will continue to update you all. And I am here to be in service of Madison and her vision and the people that we are going to serve. So Madison, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. And um, I'm so excited. Congratulations, sis. Congratulations, thank you. congratulations. Thank you. They said, well, you don't need security that I can offer to Yes, we will. Yes, yes. You're going to need them for me, just in case I have to come here and whoop a bitch ass about fucking up in here, because my gay mama didn't play with me. And listen, I'm going to say this. My gay mama didn't play with me. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't even know Miss <laughs> Judy got play with me. Right. Bitch, a boy will come into that house. Murder, let me see who this boy is. <laughs> who is that? Mm-hmm. All this is instilled to me. I, I'm not letting that shit happen. Who mm -hmm. is that? Mm -hmm. You done every time a new girl come into the city, you over here trying to be up on, get away from my daughter. <laughs> you, okay. You trying to come over here and poison my daughter. Right. Right. <laughs> not poison. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And she told me that, God, I love my mama. Uh -huh. I love my Miss Mary. Oh, and let me tell you this. The deepest basis of this house Mm -hmm. Bitch, you got to be grounded in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You got to have the Lord somewhere in you. Somewhere. Baby, because the Lord all up and through this house. I want you to know that. Oh, yeah. The Lord is all up and through here because the first thing that we're going to teach you, honey, in this bitch is how to be grounded, surrounded, honey, and founded in something higher and greater than you. Because, bitch, you got to understand it ain't you that's moving you. That's right. Anyway, sister, we're gonna get up, we're gonna talk. Get get in, get into the things, Craig and Madison. I love y'all. Thank y'all for having so much love. Dominique, if you can stay in the chat and whatever when they I start will. talking about the things or whatever. I'm gonna I'm I'm join in, I'm gonna join in the chat. Thank y'all. Thank you, Madison. And y'all, let's let's make history. Atlanta has nothing like this. And because Madison said yes, the ties are changing. So let's do it. All right. All right, baby. Love you, Dominique. I'll talk to you shortly. Grow. All right. Now that we done been very nice and all that type of stuff, honey, and we done told the things, and you know what I'm saying, we done launched the starter house over here for y'all. Mm -hmm. Bitch, it's time for some fair talk! <laughs> Let's go fair 